Hey everyone, it's Chris Keys, hanging out 2011 NAMM show. I'm here with Tom Jones of TV Jones. How are you doing, Tom? Really good, thank you. How's the show going for you so far? Really good, but I'm, I'm still setting up. <laughs> well, sorry to bother you while you're setting up, but you got to tell us about what you got going on here in this guitar. It's very special that pillars of Gretsch's and P90s have been wanting for a while, so talk, talk to us about what you got here. Um, this is a P90 in a Filtertron mount. We have these little covers molded. They're mini soap bar covers. Underneath the bridge, we're using two Filtertron quarter-inch Alnico magnets, the larger Filtertron pole screws, more inductance. And we've got Alnico four uh, eighth-inch magnets. So we've got some uh, traditional P90s with a little Gretsch growl to them. Well, we're going to offer these in about three different of our mounting options. Uh, this is the uh, standard mount, and they're adjustable underneath the ring. There's four points, so you can tip the pickup. We also have the English mount, which is suspended off of a, a Gretsch ring or a Gibson-style ring. And uh, no ears mount, so uh, mini, mini P90s. But this traditional uh, coils and, and uh, uh, P90s. If you were to describe the tone, you know, we're not able to, you know, do a demo justifiably with all the noise going on in the booth and you're still setting up, but what would you describe the tone with, you know, being matched up with everything being in there as you have it uh, set up? Well, the first thing I notice is when I plug this guitar in is, uh, was, was early Elvis, Scotty Moore. All right. That's what I heard. Very woody, yeah. Yep, really, just a great tone. Very warm and full, but with tons of uh, clarity and, and dynamics. Really happy. I, I, one other thing is we'll have DeArmond pickups available in the, the same mounting option. I just wasn't able to finish it before the show, that's all. And what are you looking at for the price point for the setup and the kit, everything for uh, assembly? These will be uh, roughly about 125 to 130 a pickup. Alright. And what else you got to show us for uh, today's show? Model 10s uh, with new pick guards and larger frets. Um, we also have a, a Model 10 with two P90s, no pick guard, wraparound tailpiece. Another thing I couldn't finish for the show, but that'll that'll probably debut in Nashville. And what's different about these pick guards to your prior ones? We have different finish available. I was thinking they were just too uh, black and white, pretty much. So we went for some texture. For people that might not know and not haven't seen our videos that we have done with the actual model in action, what would you describe the tone for someone that just wants to know, uh, I guess, verbally how it sounds? What do you describe this? One? Okay, very transparent. When you dig in with your pick, tons of growl. These are special pickups made only for this guitar mismatched coils, so tons of fidelity, but a little bit of punch on the bottom. Tom, if everyone wants to find out about the pickup mounts or the guitars themselves, where should they go online? TVJones.com. Excellent. Now, thank you very much for taking the time in the middle of your setup. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Thank you. All right. This is Chris Keys for PremierGuitar.com, hanging out at the NAMM Show 2011.